Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. That's a fun way to start it. A couple of quick housekeeping things. First off, I'm going to start putting time links, time codes in the description. So you can just click on the time to get straight to the content if that's what you want. Because if it's your first time here, you don't want to listen to me ramble. You don't want to listen to maybe our some of our banter at the beginning. So um, go ahead and click those if you want to get there. While you're at it, click the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. I mean, you have to type in a comment, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, that's my shilling for the for the beginning here. You guys can all, yeah, okay. Uh, secondly, we are. I'm going to start putting a lot more effort into the editing and and. Um, uh, thumbnails and just and just all that stuff because um, I talked to the brothers and we really want to start pushing I think for for goals we've had a lot of fun and we will obviously continue to have fun and um, uh, keep putting out just just fun stuff that maybe if you guys have anything you want to see you can just let us know um, but um, I think that we're gonna start hitting trying to hit goals and our first one is gonna be uh, we're gonna go for a hundred subs if we can get a hundred subs we are going to, or subscribers, I think subs is Twitch. I don't think it's the same. Maybe. I don't know. But um, if that's the case, we're going to start live streaming on Twitch or, or here. Probably Twitch, I think. Um, but we're going to start live streaming on Twitch once every other week, I think is going to be the cadence. Not sure yet. But um, So if you guys can help us hit that goal, uh, whether it be by word of mouth or, or, or anything like that, I'm not exactly sure how to... Uh, how to market? I'll leave that up to the other two. They're they're the people, persons. Um, so uh, yeah, if you guys if you guys could help us out with that, that would be great. We would love to start live streaming, and the more subscribe subscribers we get, that's how you say it. Uh, the more content we'll put out. It, it's just it's it's the more we'll make time out of our busy busy lives to 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 give you guys more stuff because we appreciate you. Um, no matter how many subscribers we have. We appreciate you. So thank you very much, and let's get on with the episode. Come on, son. We're oh, ready. read from the script? Sorry, sorry, I went off script here. Yeah, uh, hello, yeah, because that's we what we will have. Be if you've been Dungeons listening, and Dragons. <laughs> if you've been listening, it's all been scripted, baby. It's all, it's all it's been scripted. You, we, yeah. yeah, you thought yeah. that we were just terrible at this, but no, we it's intentional. Hey guys, yeah, uh, Marianne, in the, Marianne in the booth is yelling at me to stop talking about the script right now. What are we Taylor, doing? We're metagaming. Off, We're metagaming. Get, get off the teleprompter. See, but that was also scripted, so now you're on the teleprompter. Gosh dang it. Why did that switch all our cameras around? Taylor, I don't know, but it's hilarious. He's minus net one point for our next episode. Is minus one point. <laughs> <laughs> really hoping hashtag justice is hashtag no. between the last hashtag three days. justice just crash at your place? <laughs> uh yeah but he'll be visiting oh, okay. taylor very soon who knows oh. what for nobody knows anyway i can't <laughs> i can't get out of it okay <laughs> you know you need to fix your focus Corey. you're blurry i don't a little bit there's nothing i can do i've tried Hey everybody, welcome to New Game Plus, uh, a vodcast slash podcast slash chatty time with the green boys. That's, yeah, where nope, we, I love it. <laughs> where we don't really have a theme anymore, we're mostly just playing games and being dumb. To and be fair, it's the, pretty great. The theme is, let's see how dorky we can be on camera. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what absolutely the theme, and it works. And we're coming to you with some Wednesday energy. Normally we record on a Sunday night, and I'm re we're recording on a work day. Which does not feel right. I feel I I can't tone my professionalism down. So as as far as this podcast goes, and then ramp it back up the next day, it just doesn't Absolutely feel right. You can and you will see the good thing about uh -huh. the good thing about this for me is we're working with numbers today, and that's all I do <laughs> all day is I work with numbers, and it's and it's great. Uh, wait, wait wait Corey, we're working with numbers. Whatever do you mean? I, I hate that transition more than I hate your lighting. Okay, that it's... was slick and greasy <laughs> as heck. That was a We're beautiful, not working slimy with numbers transition. Today. We, yeah, you're, dude, what are you what are you rolling? Ish. What? Cody. What? Reed. Come on, <laughs> come on, son. We're oh, working. read from the script. Sorry, sorry, I went off script here. Yeah, uh, hello. Yeah, today that's we, what we will have. be building if you've been Dungeons listening, and Dragons. <laughs> if you've been listening, it's all been scripted, baby. It's all, it's all been, been scripted. You, we, yeah. yeah, you thought yeah. that we were just terrible at this, but no, we it's intentional. 
Hey guys, yeah, uh, Marianne, the the, Marianne in the booth is yelling at me to stop talking about the script right now. What do we Taylor, do? We're metagaming. Get, off, We're meta get, get off the teleprompter. See, but that was also scripted, so now you're on the tele. Gosh dang it. Why did that switch all our cameras around? Taylor, I don't know, but it's hilarious. He's minus net one point for the next episode. It's minus one point. <laughs> <laughs> really hoping hashtag justice is hashtag no. between the last hashtag three days. justice just crash at your place. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he'll be visiting oh, okay. Taylor very soon. Who knows oh. what for? Nobody knows. Anyway, I can't, <laughs> I can't get out of it. Okay. Can I carry this to the next portion? Uh, really yeah, quick. Absolutely. Really quick. I assume Taylor doesn't have it, so obligatory Zoo Tycoon reference. Okay. Now let's get to... <laughs> How <gasps> dare you? Do you have, have it? I ha No, I have the sign. If you want to see the sign again, it's right here. Okay. Nice. So, nice. <laughs> Thank a little you. peek Good behind. Nice job, Blue Fang. But no, I had a, a Zoo Tycoon reference planned for today. So you wait for it. Oh, oh, okay. I'm here. I'm down. I'm down. So a little peek behind the curtain. Uh, when I edit these, I have to watch the whole episode a couple times, uh, at least till I get the process down a little bit better. I normally hate it by the end. That specific spot where you pulled that out <laughs> and then and then flipped it around, dude. Every time I had to watch that clip, I was dying laughing because just the whole dance when nobody is watching. Oh man, that <laughs> was laugh, laugh. that was comedy gold, my friend. That was that was, that was comedy solid. gold. Yeah, thank you, that was thank beautiful. you. I did I did hear from a couple people. I should have earned more points for my sign, but yeah. hashtag justice. Hashtag justice is a maniac, so I don't think that he. Really hashtag by justice it. is a dick. Like, he, <laughs> he is justice. horrible because I saw him when I was editing. <laughs> oh, guess what? I saw him, and he was just sitting there typing, like, not really recognizing the effort that you put into it. And he laughed at your joke, but didn't give you the appropriate amount of points. That might have tied you with Cody. I, who knows? I mean, his, his pointing system um, kind of sucks. But. Yeah, no one will ever know. He did take off points from mentioning the patriarchy, so I don't think he really would have done I, 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 I don't feel yeah, like... Dad, now shut up about of, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get into this because yes banter is fun b yeah games banter is fun. fun but come on if you're new you don't want to listen to this it's fine games are more so, funner g games is more funner he's correct i can't stop cory oh. no oh, no okay we're rolling D, &D characters today they're Corey they're completely random they are not going to be built for anything like it's not it's not going to be a good build but it's going to it's going to be a funny build and it's going to be great I'm I'm enjoying even the thought of it. Uh, these two guys rolling characters. I have compiled lists that they will roll, and just luck of the draw kind of deal, right? Luck of the right, roll. Right, right. So, yep. Yeah. Ooh, luck of the roll. He's right. Luck of the right. roll. We have and and Taylor. I believe we have uh, more introductions to make today. Do we? Yeah. Tell oh. Yeah. Why don't you guys show so, off them beautiful dice? I am. So I won these in a Twitter giveaway from Kakapopo Trading Card Games. Kakapopo. I, I, I can shill them, I guess. They were nice enough to give me these. Uh, and they are massive stone die. They are <laughs> very heavy. They're very cool. Can you, very can cool. You, can you just drop them on your desk? Give us some. Uh, give us a sample there. I don't know if the sound will come through. Give us some foley. But uh, I will. Did I you don't know if I Do it again. All right. Hold on. That's an that's awful sound. Terribly unsatisfying. Yeah, that's yeah. not fun. Well, here, 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 every time you roll, satisfying every time you roll one more time. Good, My good, 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 like good. Different sound every time. Good, it's good, 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 good. Well, that's, that's because one was straight on the desk, one was on the mouse pad, and then one was in the tray on the mouse pad. <laughs> oh, that why? checks out. Okay. Why? Why? Overall unsatisfying. I bet in real life it makes a very satisfying, like, what? succinct clunking sound, but unfortunately we don't have that. That's a sweet design, though. They look they look super cool. That is a really cool design. Celtic not um, ask, but not quite. I went a little different yeah. of a route. Um, I got mine because my friend Han had a website we could get cool dice from, so I just, like, jumped on that order. They're ice blue. I don't remember what the company is, but it's just this really cool ice blue for the D20. Pull it back a little bit. It's not focusing. Nice. Kind of. You can see. It's Solid. nice. It's it's legit. Yeah. And then the D10. Cold. Yes, it does. And the D10 is a little potion. That is sweet. I, I, love that. I like that a lot. Now, did you oh, say God. this was your friend's website? No, it's not my friend's website. He uh, found a website. I don't remember what the website was, but he found a website. He's like, you don't we'll want to get in on it, this? But, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Um, thanks. 
Uh, I'll ask Khan. Maybe we can throw it in the, the description or something. Nah, that's too much effort. But, All right, let's get going. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, I guess we'll start by... Um, do you guys have names made? or? I was going to wait until I re- uh, heard what race I was. I have a couple names in mind, okay. and I will assign the name based on what is oh, happening. I have absolutely nothing prepared for this at all everything that comes out tonight is going to be straight off the dome is that not usually the case for character creation no oh fair enough no, fair enough i thought you meant characters. like for the podcast i was like i don't know if we've ever prepared dialogue ever for this thing <laughs> other than the games we've done that's I had not... a lot of i had a lot of prep for last episode with these that's poster not, boards so. that's dialogue shut <laughs> that's your mouth true. Uh, yeah, that's valid. okay so anyway uh just roll a d20 and guys just be 100% honest. I know you guys will be, but just, you oh, know. Yeah. So whoever gets no the higher, to lie. This whoever is, gets the higher role will go first. This is for entertainment and I can promise you I'm probably not going to use this character ever. So, unless it's I am, unless it's vodcast related. So, uh, um I might actually use the character. We'll see. It depends on what happens. I hope it's horrible. Oh my goodness. What'd you get? 18. Got a 20. Oh! <laughs> oh, what a way to start it we got that critical success and it's not even for the race because i was i think i don't know if you're here cody but i was telling taylor that the only one that the critical fail and a critical success is good for is race other than that it's all completely random and That's i will tell you guys if you don't get it what they were so all right so a 20 still is fun to roll i don't care what it is oh absolutely absolutely even when you're like pre- prepping for a session you gotta roll yeah. those ones out you accidentally get a 20 and you're like oh Feels good. I was ready to fan out my peacock feathers with my 18, man. Was that was a weird dance. sentence, and I had no idea where it was going. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cody. Mine were, mine were just a little bit bigger, Fair a little enough. bit more colorful. Oh, uh, he got me. He got me. I got a shame. You've been I out. Got, I got. You've been out peacocked. NBC I, is hiring Cody, not Taylor. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, anyway. <laughs> Cody, go ahead. How dare you take my office off of Netflix? Yeah, a twenty. What am I got? What? I, what no, I that got? was that was to roll to see who goes first, essentially. Well, I go first. Ten. Ten. Oh, that's boring. All right, you're a dragonborn. I, I haven't been one yet, actually. So. Oh, they're they're so much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, especially with that breath weapon, breath weapon. The breath weapon. Oh, I've been. My... Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Do I get to pick what? Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't pick colors for you. No, 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 no. You need to look up, while he's rolling, look up a table of the colors, and I'll roll for that, too. Um, yeah, I'll use my f- phone, and then I'll just edit this out. So, actually, Taylor, <laughs> don't do anything yet. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. <clears throat> Dragon. If it's going to be random, it's got to all be random. Okay, Corey found the table. Yes. Okay, I found the table. Cody made a really good point that I cut out. Suckers. Uh, he said, if it's random, it's all going to be random, baby. So, go ahead and roll, roll, me, a, roll me a D10. D10. All right, I got one of those handy. Uh, that's a nine. That's a nine, my friend. You are a blue dragonborn. Ooh, lightning blue. weapon. Ooh. Lightning breath. <clears throat> Highly contested. I've listened to a couple different podcasts who said that um, who I uh, just threw out the random comment that a blue dragon was a uh, um, cold breath. No, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. That'd no, be white, white yeah. dragon. Yeah, baby. All right, Taylor. You know a thing or two about white dragons now, don't you, Corey? I do. I do. It's unfortunate, but I do. All right. Go All ahead. right. If I get a ten, can I re-roll it? Oh, absolutely. I'm not letting you okay. guys pick the same things for any. Okay. Of these. Gotcha. It's it's hold on. It's answered on the cord. Right, Natural twenty. Really? Natural twenty. I absolutely believe you. That's amazing. You, my friend, are an Aracocra. God, no! <laughs> <laughs> that is one of my favorite races, man. Those things are awesome. What it's, was your what was your old your eighteen oh year old God. ancient wow. elder Eric Hawkra's name? What was his name? It was it was like birds of a feather or something. No, it was. Uh, oh, I have it right here in this this same exact. Stupid. Oh, it was, oh, it was Aber. Words. It was Aber. Defello. Defello. That's right. A bird fellow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he was awesome for the for and the uninitiated. Slightly... I ran oh, a uh, I ran a one shot. A false Hydra one shot. It was beautiful uh, and creepy. That, that Corey, uh, his his character was a Eric Hokra that monk. Their lifespan is only thirty years, and he was twenty eight. So he was ancient, and he played it perfectly. And he was a sinewy monk. That's he right, was an old <laughs> sinewy monk, and it was <laughs> phenomenal. I think it was of the astral way, or what's that called? Uh, the, the astral fist. The astral fist. Yeah. 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 yeah oh a, God. You had the a JoJo stand. Was just. Ugh. I had oh, a. God. I had, that was. I had a what? 
You, so, you, the way you flew was so gross. <laughs> and then I ran into the false hydra. I almost did. Like while I was flying. No, you did. That was you did. That was yeah. fun. Oh god. That All right. was when I played Holloway Jackson of the Jackson Three. Oh, yes. That was when I, I like him a lot. The too. Cody. Cody. Yeah, no, I know that we've done a lot of yes. answer. Uh, and I, I apologize, listeners. Deal That's with fine. it. This is this is worth it. Can you guess what a natural one would have been? It's got to be something that you don't like. Is it? Is it one of the fish people? No. No. Oh, okay. No, but uh, you're gonna laugh. It's a water genasi. No, oh my God! <laughs> I see that. Of course it is. <laughs> I have. So I have a rogue in in a campaign. His name is Duriel. After uh, Duriel one two three or three two one in RuneScape, who did the mass murder in Falador. So there's your uh, there's your peek at RuneScape today. Uh, and every time we've ran across one of these stupid things, they've absolutely gypped us on on like what was it boat docking fair docking fair and, and, and stuff and, like that and and every time you try to steal i roll like like terribly like they, they are, are they are bitch. horrible horrible characters and i hate them and my character hates them more than i do but i i, I try to steal from them like just to because i'm a rogue and, i mean come on so and i fail every every time every single time but i hate them i hate them they are horrible <laughs> so all right Lord. The what's our next roll? So we have a, a blue dragonborn and an Erakukra. So the next roll will be for class. So uh, if you get a 20, you're super classy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so Cody, go ahead. Roll for class. Roll for class. And I'm rolling a 20, right? Yeah. Yep. Sorry. D20. Uh, I picked 16. Yep. 16. Oh, this is fun and weird for a dragonborn. Um, a College of Creation bard. Whoa. Ooh. That's fun oh, that's one. fun. That's fun. Oh, I. I'm not sure I know much about that college. See, I don't. I, I went through a list of like everything, and I didn't have time to research twenty. So a lot of these, I don't know what they are. But I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that one. Oh, there's a college. So sword, my, my, by the way, my. Sword, I had to wait until what my class was to do a name, mm -hmm. uh, and now that I know that he's a blue dragonborn, his name is Thorol Stormfang. Thorol, Thorol Stormfang. Thorol. Stormfang. Thorough yes. Stormfang. Yes. Okay. He's thoroughly... My guy's name is My guy's name is Chauncey McGee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So that's clever, Taylor. Congratulations. You know what's funny is Chauncey is a hundred percent a name for a bird. So yeah, exactly. I suppose it could be. That's, I had like a couple different names in my head, and, Cha and I, when I heard Eric Cocker, I'm like, oh, that's Chauncey. That's Chauncey McGee, baby. <laughs> so Cody, really quick, look up College of Creation while Taylor rolls, because I kind of want to know what that is. Chauncey so, McGee and me loved that movie when well. I was a kid. <laughs> Dang it! It keeps getting caught in my cord. I'm gonna roll. Just one right there. Uh, a two. You are a death domain cleric. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice. I, that's not that's not bad for a, <laughs> for an oh, Eric Okra. Yeah. Taylor, can you really quick explain what that is, or can you not? Like, what is what is a death domain cleric? It, can you understand not, why I picked that name? That's such a cool name. I know what a life domain cleric does. I think it's pretty much the opposite. It's more of a um they still have a lot I think they still have a, they still, I still think that they're geared more towards like like healing. If they're more I, I not Cody go. I think it's I think I I always have a hard time differentiating between a death domain cleric and a grave domain cleric because they're different things. And watching Critical Role Season 2, I think that they had a Grave Domain Cleric, so this might not apply, but he could cancel enemy crits. Wow! Mm. That is a baller move. Yeah, just I think it's just one pair of like, long rest or something, but it's still huge. Okay, it can, was you, huge can you give us like a, like a 10 to 20 second summary of College Bard? Or uh, College of Creation Bard. <clears throat> Yeah, so Bard's believe the cosmos is a work of art, the creation of the first dragons and gods that creative work include harmonies that could continue to resound throughout existence today, a power known as the Song of Creation. The bards draw on that primeval song through dance, music, and poetry, and their teacher shared this lesson before the sun and the moon, there was the song, and the music awoke the first dawn. So it's basically, College of Creation is, is they think that the creation came to be throughout music. Great. Um, All I can a, picture is that you are... A dragonborn a ballerina. Tidbit. A fun tidbit. 
Among Dragonborn, the Song of Creation is revered, for legends portray Bahamut and Tiamat, the greatest of dragons, as two of the song's first singers. <laughs> okay, well that worked out perfectly and is not that fun. Did. So congratulations. All right. Uh, <laughs> Cody. And, and, and now, picturing... that you, now that you don't like it, I'm going to use this character. And I'm picturing that Chauncey is a big bird person that uh, lives in one of the refrigerators in a moratorium. That yes. they pull out, yeah. and then when his when his caretaker pulls it out, he just looks at his caretaker and goes, Bruh! and then flies away to do his death domain as things. Oh, and he also, I also am picturing a feather boa. Uh, okay, so you're Hold a burlesque on. dancer. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, got those, yeah. you got the inappropriately short skirts too, or do they just wear like the tight legging thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't watch burlesque. It's not my thing. So. No, it's all feather boas. Just he's like mummy wrapped with feather feather boas. That is hundred percent better. Um, Cody's dragonborn can suck it. I do, I do, I do have this image in my head of this 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 like chonky like dragonborn like stocky intimidating just at first glance that really does like just like pull out a harp. He doesn't <laughs> he doesn't burst into anything. He just, like descends gracefully into a dance. And just like as slowly twirls around as, as like a music box in, like, ballerina. Okay, he's like, but but it, it's interspersed with like weird like interpretive dance things where he's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's terrifying to watch. That's thank, nightmare inducing. Thank you no. so much for introducing that to us. Uh, can You're we welcome. please move on to alignment before I die? God. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for alignment. Yeah, this is a, okay. So just for the listeners, really quick, uh, these are. We're rolling for things that nobody cares about in 5e. Like, alignment <laughs> kind of went by the... by Like, nobody... You pick it, and then you're like, eh. You know, then you just do what you got to do to continue out through the campaign. But, so, uh, yeah. So, we're, we're picking out, like, traits, ideals, bonds, all that Align stuff. So. Alignment mattering is entirely dependent on your DM, so... that That's fair. I just... Generally, people don't... They pick it, and then a couple episodes in. I say episodes... Well, I Most of the true. time, people just try to pick chaotic neutral as a reason as a reason to be an absolute douchebag. But you know, I right. always kind of feel like you shouldn't choose your alignment until you've played like four sessions at least. That, that's a I think really, that's a good. I, I feel like that's a good just. I waited to live by. I waited until I wrote my backstory. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what am <laughs> I rolling? You know here? how you're gonna. Uh, play. You're rolling a d10. Uh, a bird fellow was chaotic good. That's what that's what Darcy eight. was too. You got eight. You are neutral. Good. Lame. Oh, that's what what I, so what does that just was. mean? It's just like, I'll just do good, but it doesn't have to be lawful. It doesn't have to be chaotic. It's just, just good. It's good. Is that Robin Hood? What I think is good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's Robin Hood. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at me. I am a freaking genius. Nobody. Okay. Nobody said anything. Or something. No, I'm not doing that. Nobody said anything after that. And now I'm uncomfortable because that was weird. All right. Taylor. D10. Sorry, I'm so interested to see what Chauncey McGee is going to be as he as he emerges from his refrigerator door uh, moratorium cabinet or whatever it is. He squawks his person, he flies away, and he does things that... Uh... Wait, what did Cody get? Eight. Eight. Okay, I gotta reroll. One. <laughs> <laughs> hey, out of evil. He's hey, out of evil. evil. <laughs> Yeah, yes! he's a bad guy. Yeah, he's the villain. That's right, he's the villain. Oh my god, he is gonna, he's gonna rain terror down on the kingdom. That's oh my god, perfect, he's gonna though. be, it's he is gonna be an issue. <laughs> yes, Chauncey, go cause terror, queen. With your Slaughter feather the boas. <laughs> just you, before you die, you just see a flurry of feather boas riding towards you. And that's the last thing you see before you get. So I needed from this mortal coil. I'm trying to picture him, like who he is, like as a character, to kind of compare him and make a reference to something that would be funny. I can't think of anything. Like no, nothing okay. is that. You know what he is? He is a bird form of uh, Vigar from League. Is tiny. He, it's hard. He's tiny, and you don't take it seriously at first, and then you're dead. And then you're dead. <laughs> yeah. And then you get alted for your entire HP bar. So it, like, yes, but also Chauncey has. He's a new idea. John C. McGee is a new form of terror and uh, evil, and I am amped. For, okay, I gotta, I gotta look up. Where's my player's handbook? I need so to start while Cody's doing that, this guy. or while Taylor's doing that, guys, we have a uh, like a silent stretch goal that we haven't really said anything. If we get to like 500, maybe a thousand subscribers, we want to do like a D and D channel kind of thing. Taylor, I think we talked about this. I know Cody and I have. Yes. Um, but yeah, Cody, if you write the campaign, 
You now have your villain. <laughs> Chauncey McGee. Sean it makes me upset that I really couldn't ever play Chauncey McGee in a campaign because I'd have because unless we did like an evil campaign. But I we can talk about this later. There's a hundred percent a way to play a chaotic evil character in a normal campaign. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But absolutely, I would love to because I'm falling in love with Chauncey. All right, sorry, we can move on. All right, the next. I'm also trying next... to figure out what god he worships, but we'll get to that. <laughs> okay, Osmodius. All right. Uh, I think you need to roll for that, Taylor. I don't have. A, I do not have a list, and I refuse to make. I'll one find one. So, uh, <laughs> I got it. Mine. So, Cody, while he's doing his dumb, dumb stuff, let's uh, roll for your personality traits. So, dumb. what am I rolling here? Uh, sorry, D twenty. You roll it twice because you're gonna have two. Yeah, a seven. Okay. Oh, there's so and many an eighteen. A seven and <laughs> the eighteen's good. <clears throat> seven. You are distinctive. You have a distinctive trait about you. Please tell okay, me what so, it is. Um, so what is the... Um, uh, this is traits? This is personality traits, yes. Personality traits, okay. What is your, uh, what dis- is your dis- distinctive mark or whatever it is? Are you missing a, an arm or like... I can't say that. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I... Uh, much to the shame of being a dragonborn, he does not have a tail. So he's a, he's a freak. So he's a, wait, can he right, walk? Okay. Is can he I... like a monkey? If he doesn't have a tail, can he walk? He's is learned he in a how, wheelchair? but he has a, he has a peculiar gait. <laughs> how exciting right. for him. Oh, can uh, I, may, may yeah. I suggest something sure. for that? Can he not have a tail, but just have a dump truck booty? <laughs> <laughs> can he just be no. So what it is? Is carrying it, a they, robust load. The tail, the tail got severed like right at the base where there's still like he was he was like a thick boy tail, like <laughs> entire width of his backside, but it got severed right at right at just above like body level. So it, 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 he he gives off the appearance of having just an absolute dump truck. So oh, so he just, he can't wear jeans normally, unfortunately for him. Oh man. No, it's like, did you guys see that that freaking video of someone took a Tom Cruise in one of his new movies where for some reason he just has a giant booty? No. Like the it's and it's like an unnaturally giant booty. Like there had to have been some kind of like divine intervention as to how thick Tom Cruise's booty was. <laughs> but they got um, like they got like the breast Kardashian implants treatment. but for the butts. Yeah. yeah. So I'm treatment. thinking that maybe like uh what's Thor? <laughs> is that what you what's his full name? Yeah. His name is yeah, Thorough. 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 I'm imagining that he got severed and then uh, someone like went to c- cut him again but missed and like made a crack. Like, uh, yeah. right yeah. was, yeah. it's, so much, it's so much more it looks like. Or may- <laughs> That's awesome. And the only comment he makes about it is some people don't p- appreciate interpretive dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cody, I never read to you your other, your other trait and I'm yeah, going to yeah, have 18. you pick one one of two things uh it's slow now is that physical or mental slow yeah oh uh, it's going to be physical because of the missing tail and because his dance is going to be like just painfully slow to watch <laughs> because creation was a, a an, an eternal progress a process so he takes like he takes the act of he creation just... so literally <laughs> he that, just like everything needs to take a year everything is just just so congratulations, you can never play this character. <laughs> I absolutely can. Okay. Uh, All right, Taylor, okay, are you ready? So he will never ever take well, the dash quick, action. Chauncey has uh Chauncey ha- um is reluctant but has a god, the god Merkel, who is the god of death, which checks out. It's a neutral evil god, so it, it kind of aligns them a little bit, but it makes sense because Chauncey doesn't believe that he should be tied to a god. He's only using Merkel for the power and believes that one day he himself will be a god. Okay. So, so I'm going to roll for that ta- on that table now. I'm super, what am I rolling? I'm super in a d20 twice. Uh, I'm super interested in, like, I really want him to be a playable character. <laughs> Cody, I don't want yours to be a playable character. Watch he out, guys. He sounds like Ch- he would be a nightmare to fight with. <laughs> Mine Watch is out, guys. 100% Chauncey's- going to be in the next campaign. Chauncey McGee is going to be coming at you hot. It's going to be a flurry of feathers and feather boas and death. First is a 10. Okay, go ahead. I'm excited for that one. (laughs) And an 18. You can't do that. Do it again. 17. 
This is rolling. <laughs> this, he rolls like garbage. This is stupid. <laughs> like this is really <laughs> this is really stupid. Uh, a ten. Right. That is, uh, you are hard of hearing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Adding to the legend of Chauncey McGee. <laughs> Um, and 17, 17 goes really, really good with Chaotic Evil. Uh, you are relentless. Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> he's a relentless death. You know, you know what I'm getting out of this? Is he's a stubborn old man. Yes! <laughs> That's what it sounds like! He is. <clears throat> I feel like he's probably somewhat related oh, to, man. uh, Aber. Huh? Chauncey, distantly the fellow. Chauncey, please don't murder that man. What? Chauncey, <laughs> please don't murder that man. Please don't do what now? I can just this is this is great. This He's is a hard of hearing <laughs> relentless maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh. Okay, the next one is we'll just burn through this one. It's not fun. It's ideals. So one roll one D ten. Ideals. Space dash space. Uh one D ten. Here we go. I straight up stole this from a list, Four. and I don't know. Oh, you are. Uh, well, I don't. In, you you desire influence, or you have influence? How do ideals work? It just says influence. I am easily this. influenced. Is that what it that's is? That's great. That, <laughs> I, like, I like that he made. No, that's perfect. That that, that, that brings like, you know, a I'm whole definition. That, that's what it means. That'll. That brings a whole new dynamic to Thurl. Oh, like, yeah. like, how is it that you are like stuck in the ways of creation to the point where you move in an agonizing I pace, operated but, a crawl. but, but, you're highly influenced. Easily, what, how, how would you say that? You're super. I'm a. You're I'm a people influenced. pleaser. I guess. To the point where you'll go back on creation. I don't know. If that's the dichotomy that you gotta face. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no, right. he's just so hesitant to disappoint anyone that he just does everything slowly. Oh, that gives him a lot yeah, of time that, to ponder everything. That's yeah. what makes his dancing so graceful, though. It that's is. why he doesn't break into dance. He, as Cody put it, descends. I into descend dance. into dance. <laughs> he descends into gracefully. dance? That almost yeah. sounds like a chaotic evil thing, too. I don't. I can't <laughs> explain it. But that, <laughs> what What are you, neutral good? Oh, that's, dude. Neutral good, yeah. Oh, dude, he's descent. A, it's perfect. He's a people pleaser. Yeah. yeah. Descent, descent into dance was my favorite My Chemical Romance album. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They just came out with a new song, by the way, and it's it's good. Oh, uh, man, of course it is. They nail it every time. Okay. Uh, Taylor, D10. Mm. I want it. Seven. Uh, I, okay. Um. This just says commitment. Yeah, he's committed to himself and his feather boas. Okay, yeah, I can... He's committed. He's committed to raining terror down on the kingdom. He's committed to making himself a god that people may call on the power of Chauncey McGee. <laughs> actually McGee. fits really well with Relentless. So. I, yeah, yeah. I, I guess. I was like, how is this going to fit in? And then you guys just took it and were like, oh, just like this. That's like, okay, so you're the four long Tetris piece. Okay, it's perfect. All right. <laughs> Yeah, he is so so Chauncey is over at its like drawing table, like developing all these plans about like how he's gonna overthrow the king and how he's gonna take like burn these small villages just to prove a point and like all the other put, stuff. Put and the whole bikes. and then the whole time his his like his like his like second hand is like Chauncey, 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 <laughs> Chauncey. And you're like what? Is that his voice? What? That's that's so <laughs> yeah. good. That's, that's his Small responding bit. to someone yelling at him because he can't hear voice. Cody, Cody, what is, what is what is what is Thoreau's uh, character voice? <laughs> Lurch from the Adams family. <laughs> you <Yeah. Ray. laughs> That's really good. What is oh it? man. Cody just pushed, uh, he just took the slow snowball and pushed it down the hill. I home, really man. did. He <laughs> hit slow and that became the character. So there there was there was a 10% chance of me running a one shot. It is now a zero. <laughs> but Chauncey! He f if you ever see a flash of pink in the air, you know that you've been influenced by Chauncey. <laughs> Co Cody is Cody is oh. Oh, Pegasus. Oh, man. I just want to have a whole... Waters. Maybe I'll just do, like, a solo episode just talking about Pegasus for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pegasus. Is just... It's fine. I wish I wish Pegasus could be in the, the campaign with uh, my character. 
Oh yeah. That would, that be, would be a that would dynamic. be an interesting yeah interesting relationship. Cody's interesting. With Thor Thorin? Thor, no, Thor with uh, what's his name? Cody. I always forget. It's your guy. I know. I should Curtel. remember my own character. Curtel. There you go. Curtel Thorn. Have uh, we ever talked about how? Sorry, go ahead. Um, this is a different train of thought. Uh, okay. It's it's just funny because Pegasus is a very naive young, childish. What I think good Druid. aligned. You're oh. kind of good, aren't you? Yeah, I would, he yeah. probably almost good lawful aligned. good. Yeah, and uh, and uh, mine is 100 percent lawful evil. So, yeah. Oh, is he your? Is he your? Is he your Georgia my guy? Yeah, my my deep south. Yeah, yeah. it's it's it really good. Cody is really good at role playing. It's like molasses just spilling out of your mouth. <laughs> hey, it doesn't quite spill as much as it just rolls out. Just rolls. Out. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so we've got we've got the voices. Uh. I'm going to need you guys to roll 1d20 for Bonds. Bonds. Here we go. Chauncey's bonded with himself. Uh, it's cocked. A I, six. I, this, isn't, this isn't fun. I don't like this one, but you have to stick with it. Something important was stolen from you, and you want it back. That makes it a rich backstory. What is it, Cody? I'm going for comedic uh, value here, so that, to me, is yeah. just... But no, no, not for you, Cody. He you won't tell anyone. He won't tell anyone because it is it is the uh, the 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 tail. <laughs> he 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 wants his tail back. And Where is he it? He will find a way. He doesn't know. <laughs> How does he, he not know? He Who it? chopped it off? He knows. He just. And knows. Why did they keep it? I know. It's gotta be somewhere. <laughs> Oh my and God. I'm gonna find it. You are the least likable oh. character of all time, I think. Just... Oh shoot, Cody! I think you accidentally <laughs> spilled the Eeyore jar over there. You might want to pick Dude. that up before it spills into your character. <laughs> all right. That's perfect. No, actually, I I really Thanks really like Thorough, and I, and I want to know more about him. I want to, but Taylor, it is your turn to roll a d20. I can't remember. I don't remember what his name is. I'm gonna call him Thawson. Eight. God. Chauncey. All right. My guy's name is Chauncey. Your guy's name is like Thon Thon or something. This is yeah, Thon Thon. Taylor, I'm gonna need your yeah. help with this one because oh. it just says, "I worked, I nurtured, and I loved the land." Let's say it one more time. You worked, nurtured, and loved the land. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was his descent into <clears throat> madness. That was his origin story. That's his village, <laughs> his village origin story. Your little worked, farm boy. Nurtured, I loved the land. He yeah. was a humble farm boy. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He was a humble farm bird. So I bet that Chauncey got screwed over by Melora. Ah, oh, Melora. I'll why, bet that's what happened. I'll bet too. that Chauncey got screwed over by Melora. And Chauncey was living a beautiful bird life with his bird wife and his bird kids. And then something crazy happened. He called on Melora for help. And she deserted him, or she didn't respond, or like she did that thing where like it's like, but this is a learning opportunity. And he was like, oh gotcha, learned that you're the worst ever. Where's Merkel? Where are my feather boas? And became evil. So he like, just he took just a just a situation, and then a spark, and I imagine it was like a red like just death spark in his brain, and he just went over the top with it, just like. <laughs> Just so it's, like, it's literally the spark in Gohan's head right before he goes Super Saiyan 2. I was about to say, he cell. went Super Saiyan! He was like, Wah! And like put his arms out and just fire around Perfect. him and bird feathers flying everywhere. And like, that's what it is. Taylor watched Android 16 die. That, and that's, that's what, what it was. That must have been what it was. That God, must have been. I just, got, I just got nerd cancer. You guys are the worst. Um, <laughs> so, so if I can give you guys just a taste of what some of, some of the bonds were. For one yeah. of them, it just says... I just put Romeo and Juliet. Uh, <clears throat> oh, love story. For Taylor, I had one specifically for you, even though I knew the chances of you getting it were slim. It just says, I love my admirers an uncomfortable amount. I must figure out why. <laughs> Is it because I love our viewers and our listeners so much? Guys, yes. I seriously love you so much. It keeps me up at night. And Cody, I think about you I had a fun, all the time. I had a fun one for you, too. And it was, I want to be... The very best. Like no one ever, like no was. One ever was. That's what Catch I had. Catch them is my real test to train them. Oh, wait. This was, this is another one. If you guys got a nat 20 on this, I was just going to die because it would have been so funny. 
But it was, I must hide my alter ego from my adoring fans. This would bring chaos to my family because you are Hannah Man Montana. Yeah. <laughs> that would not have worked for Chauncey. Chauncey is who he is. His secret, his like secret identity is now his primary identity. I know. He's well, like, I didn't evil. know that you were going to be chaotic evil. <laughs> I am evil. I, I am just want strong. you guys though. I am fabulous. I'm taking well, this. You, I want you to. I'm picture, learning though. from this how to do it next time. Guys, chaotic evil Hannah Montana is just Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody? Are you guys okay? Is everyone? Is everyone good? Because whoa, uh, he just broke. He just broke a Disney Channel original series. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. This next Real one. Real quick. Oh, yep. Go ahead. Speaking of Disney Channel original series, Why? I have to pee. Uh, uh, every time. I I don't know whether to be angry. No, I'm just disappointed. Yeah. It does Zach, even... Nick, Mariah, Emma, the four I know off the top of my head who was in. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> All right. <clears> that's <throat> Emma, cowtail chick. She's I'm a cocktail chick. Yes, yes. Hey, I love it. I love it when uh, we talk about Emma. I, oh, you, uh, what about Vor? You guys ever heard about Vor before? I don't know what that is. So when that comment was brought up, or when 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 that was mentioned to me, I have no idea what that means. What is Vor? Google Vor. Don't hit images. I'm not googling. Do not Google Vor. Just, okay. Vor, okay. That's Vor is also... a is a uh, R-rated obsession with being eaten or consumed or like enveloped. Okay, and now the listeners know as well because I'm keeping that in. Thanks, Emma. Okay. okay. We're not trying I tried to, to keep it as, but... as PG-13 no, as possible. No, you it. did a good job. You did a very good job. Those that, was, people, that was very tame. Those people, they need to be put to death. But that sounds like they want the same thing. <laughs> it's not wrong. All right. I, I, have no, I have no solution. All right, well, our solution is to move on. All right, what's, what's next? The, hey, 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 do you know what a... Uh, 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 I can't make that joke without a backstory. Dang it. Never mind. Okay. Tune thanks for our bonus episode where Cody Metal explained that joke. Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> Remember that game, Corey? Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? No, not even a little. Did I play it? I'm pretty sure you're riding and you like jump off missiles and slide up, slice up giant mechs and stuff like that. You don't remember this? All right. Bru never mind. No. It's more normal that I haven't played it. Anyways. There. Next. What's okay. Next? All right, so uh, this is for the listeners slash viewers when I cut us back in five seconds ago, cutting out the jokes that did not land. Uh, <laughs> between the jokes all that of us, by the way. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, <clears throat> all right, uh, so I wanted your characters to be super relatable. Obviously, Chauncey is. We all have a little chaotic evil in us. Uh, <laughs> and We all have a little bit of Chauncey in us. We all do descend into dance every once in a while albeit at a very slow pace okay so i sprinkle you guys, on my eggs in the morning you guys are all picking three flaws three I like it. whole flaws don't and, doesn't have flaws they're uh opportunities for growth <laughs> that sounds 100 percent like an interview answer all right i don't know i sing in the shower i care too much and I, whatever <laughs> sometimes i hit people with my car <laughs> <laughs> hey we haven't brought up the office since like episode three so True. congratulations all right uh hey, what am i rolling here 3d20 this list is entirely I'm made up as well so i can just be one okay he got a one that's a fun one 19 and oh. two dang oh. okay <laughs> Yo, opposite ends of the spectrum so man, bro number one uh you're a dirty nasty smoker you're a dirty nasty boy. <laughs> dirty, nasty. Smoker. I didn't. It's hundred percent the super long, like unnecessarily long pipe. <laughs> oh, I Cruella want a Cruella Deville. Deville like. Oh no, that's that's uh, like that, yeah, that's no, a different it's a pipe. pipe or something. Okay, pipe, pipe. but he's got to hold it out like. Because <laughs> it's more like a blowpipe. Okay. And it just it just smells like musty old man. Phenomenal. You smells like mothballs. I got it. That's perfect. Dude, right. you know Thon Thon be making cool smoke shapes. You know when he tokes. He produces like Gandalf sh level ships. Who did you say? Did you say Thon Thon? I don't remember his character's <laughs> name. That's going with. It's Thorough or Thor Thorough. I don't like any okay, of it. Okay, it's, it's Thorough. Th That's Th it's canonically Th Thorough. Thorough. No, Thorough. 
Thon Thon. It's like when, when Cody... Chief and Hard. It's and like shut Megan. up, Chauncey. <laughs> it's like when Megan Cody was younger. Was showing. It's like when Cody was younger, and he would say, "My name is C O T Y, pronounced falafel." Oh. <laughs> wow. Corey coming in with a Cody deep cut. Whoa. That's right. That's right. Now you can't that forget anything deep. about that. My ne- my favorite one, I think, might be the next one. Uh, Cody rolled a nineteen. That yeah. is, uh, you often ask for managers at the tavern. <laughs> I'm a parent. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> Excuse me, my soup is tepid. <laughs> I'm just wondering where my cut is for my performance earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it could be worked into something like that. I prefer to think about it as you walking up to a like McDonald's like bar and being like, um, my McChicken is cold. Can I please speak to a manager? I feel like you made this 45 minutes ago. So <laughs> I just I oh. I a McChicken comes with one large leaf of lettuce, and I had two smalls. Oh, oh man! I specifically Almost... asked for no pickle on this Big Mac. Okay, and there, I and there is uh, why. Why do I like him so much more now? <laughs> I like him so much more. Okay, you had to give him time to grow on you. That's right. Who's the real <laughs> villain the in the Who's the real villain? I think I uh, think that Thoreau might, might drive Chauncey to suicide. It might. I think so, it might I be think... Thoreau because his third flaw is he's a compulsive liar. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know that McChicken was hot Co- when he got Cody's it. Cody's like, you know that McChicken was hot when he got it. <laughs> Cody's like, yeah, so, he just said it because he wanted a free McChicken. Because they're always like, okay. you keep this one too. But Cody's like staring at his character treat sheet, trying to see how all these different things fit together. No, it's really funny because, okay. <laughs> his ideal or whatever, He's I, I said he's easily influenced, right? He's a dirty, nasty smoker. He nasty asks boy. for managers at the, the, the bar. And he's a compulsive liar. He is like eighteen year old me. Oh my god. This Cody's is projecting. This is phenomenal. We have come up with an even slower version of Cody. Because <laughs> as we know, Cody does on occasion descend into dance. Alright, Taylor. <laughs> Let's go to your third I won't one. argue with you. We I think we could argue that that Thon Thon is a faster version of Cody. Anyway, um, <laughs> Today's crap on Cody week. 17. Okay. Five. On our last episode, I made a poster and didn't win that debate, so I think we can have a Cody week. I made oh, a flow so chart. Cool. You did make a very good flow chart. I have to give that to you. 14. <laughs> and it was, like, legible. Usually your handwriting is, well, it's... <laughs> okay. The best one is last. That's the best one. Okay. okay. So, 17. You're a giant nerd, and everybody makes yeah. fun of you for it. Yeah. <laughs> He's the villain no one takes seriously. Oh my god, Melora was with the other gods and was like, he, he wants me to save his land. Look at this loser. <laughs> Look at his plants dying. Look at his kids starving. Huh. Gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> okay. No, you're fine. Number five. You love the sauce, man. He's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. Oh, <laughs> this. Of course he is. Dude, the stars are aligning for Chauncey, dude. Dude, Chauncey McGee is an alcoholic <laughs> terrorist. This is wonderful. Yeah. Okay, but number fourteen is gonna throw a wrench in there. Uh, you have an undying love for young adult romance novels. <laughs> really want them to be like self-authored <laughs> my god chauncey he writes young romance novels oh my god oh my god young... well, that... can we change it to that <laughs> no because romance... how did you get into it you got into it because you read a few and you loved them okay yeah that's valid okay so yeah definitely can institute that he was into it oh my god oh my god and, and oh I want to point out that these are more fleshed out characters than we've created in a year. <laughs> Ever. I've never gone this deep. Oh my gosh. How are they? Okay, real quick. 
let's go over um, uh, Chauncey's uh, areas of improvement. <laughs> okay. You know, opportunities to grow. Uh, he's a giant nerd. And everybody makes you fun of you for a it. Thing yep. about, like, okay, well. That's, that's, that was, anyway. that's what I wrote. They're going to get a flash of Feather Boa, then they're going to be in their god's quarters. Um, love the sauce. Okay, yeah, well, we can interpret that as alcohol. Okay, flaw, alcoholism, everyone, come on. That's be, that's be Admit smart. you have a problem. Admit <laughs> you have a problem. If he's a young romance author, uh, that means that there's still a chance for Chauncey to come back home. That's, that's the little speck of light in him, it's right? That's it. That's it. That he is... has gone, like, he is, like, 99.9% .9 dark, evil, nasty, nasty dude but then like one person like gets his attention like like chauncey he doesn't respond chauncey what doesn't respond chauncey what uh, i forgot he's hard of hearing they're like, <laughs> do the voice <laughs> what and i think that's what he was and then uh they're what? like have you read nicholas sparks he, oh wait no yeah it was a nicholas sparks i think it's more adult Close whatever enough. and then chauncey's like oh my god <laughs> Of course I have. He has that voice because he's a smoker. No, he's a smoker. You're yeah. a smoker. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'm a smoker. Oh, crap. <laughs> Cody's uh, still... That's how it's no, like I'm not so a, deep. No, I'm not a smoker. You're a smoker. No, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, and then someone's like, what about Nicholas Sparks? And he's like, my fourth book was inspired by a safe haven. Do you remember <laughs> when uh, Robin Shabrosky from High Mother was there? And it was telling that girl it was gonna be okay. <laughs> Man, that really drove um, uh, uh, my my fourth book, Love in the Sky. <laughs> Obi Smolders. That's right, Obi Smolders. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I I really want to get into your characters so you guys can just read them out really quick to remind the listeners at the end. You know, kind of like we did with the video game, just because I want to know I want the list. But I want I want to tell you guys some of the ones you could have rolled because I came up with all twenty of these. They're straight off the dome. And some of them, the ones uh, we got were awesome. I got, so I got to pat myself on the back. That's what it feels like right now. But some of these are good. So Cody should have gotten number seven, which is ultra morose. Uh, ultra morose. <laughs> <laughs> it would have fit too well, though. Yeah, I know. So actually, number six though is you love that sweet fantasy heroine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, number... Surprisingly, that could have gone with either character. <laughs> yeah, right. really number nine is sometimes you try to kill your friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number ten is murder Sorry, hobo. It's a reflex. Number ten was murder hobo. It was I had to throw it in there, obviously. Uh, number... I would have made for Chauncey. That would have been would be. hilarious if that I got that. <laughs> yeah. <what> a... <laughs> number eleven. I asked for managers, and then I kill them. <laughs> no, number eleven. Redhead. <laughs> oh, that's the worst one. If, if I will I not apologize one, to any ginger listeners. If I would have gotten that, I would have ripped this page out of it and I would have crumpled Chauncey up into a little ball of paper and thrown him at on the garbage. You guys are acting like Cartman know. right now. Just just all the hate for, for Absolutely. The just I don't I mean sure, I if we have that similarity, but no, redheads are are devil spawn. Anyway. Number next. twelve is Monica. Scott Tennerman had it coming. <laughs> also uh, hi mariah sorry mariah she's redhead <laughs> <laughs> number number 12 so is monocle uh <clears throat> number th <laughs> <are> these flaws <laughs> number Why 13 number 13 is the most out there bananas thing i could possibly think of and i was so excited i really wanted i was like six out of 20 somebody's got to get 13 pretty good odds nobody did your weapons are gold butter knives that you hold akimbo unless a magic user then it's a two by four that you forgot to whittle down <laughs> what? <laughs> this is my staff. What? I don't, I don't know why. I was, I was laying in bed. It was like one in the morning, and I was like, this sounds like fun. What? What? I dig in it. God's name were you smoking when you wrote that? I don't know. And can I have some? Because obviously that opens your mind up to something. He was on that sweet thoughts. fantasy. He was on that sweet fantasy heroine. Oh man, he just shot that bad boy right up and was just like, "All right, <laughs> Allie, Allie, listen, I got it. I just uh, Corey, it's one thirty in the morning. No, Allie, shut up, I got it." <laughs> uh, you will wait in line for hours for the newest carrier pigeon. Uh, oh bless. <laughs> you have an Audi. <laughs> That's clearly a flaw. Again, oh, no apologies. You. And then There's number twenty. More part of skin to platform with. Number twenty is you're actually dead and in purgatory. So. <laughs> Whoa! I know, I'm you starring know and lost. <laughs> I feel like Chauncey definitely is. I kind of feel like he would be. I feel like his whole time he thinks he's doing good and bringing terror down in the kingdom or whatever. 
but he, really he's, he's doing evil <laughs> he actually uh he actually starved with his kids he let his kids eat him because they were all starving so he's like kill me and eat me that way you can survive longer you know? i did i didn't have this you know dads you know the patriarchy patriarch father <laughs> minus one point <laughs> look if if I had a nickel for every manga that I've read that had that exact scenario where children had to eat their mother to survive, what? I'd have two nickels. Oh. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> that's still, that's 10 cents more than it should have happened. The last, the last one I'll tell you guys is... Phineas and Ferb reference, by the way. That's what that is. Uh, okay, thanks. Don't care. All right, so... <laughs> this awesome. Uh, Taylor, you haven't watched Gravity Falls. Suck my butt. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> the last one I'll tell you guys is you compulsively itch your butt. You just, <laughs> you just, you're just always itching your butt. <laughs> oh, did you spell Taylor Green wrong? I'm I was, I was saying, is Corey projecting himself onto our characters? <laughs> yeah, I got here? myself one of those itchy butts. No, that's no. He did that Scratch when he did, uh, into young romance novels. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's. That's one of his. It's one of his kinks. <laughs> hey, we're not trying to yuck anyone's yum, but that's <laughs> crazy. Kink shaming is my kink. Thanks very much. All right. Well, as usual, we have gone over an hour. I'm not letting you guys roll strength stats. That would be ridiculous. So I guess uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't, I, I get it. Please do. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, like, comment, subscribe. We love comments. We love to react to comments. They're fun. Uh, and... Uh, Taylor, Taylor loves stop. you all too much. Yeah, Taylor so loves you all too much. Oh, is he I'm doing that? Is he doing that right time. now? Yes, all right, he's doing uh, that right now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very off. good. Three, it's always two, be you. One. It's, it's very, very good. good. Bye. It's very good. good. Cody, you said it once, you loser. Bye. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>